In this video, we're gonna discuss skinning your chip shots, what to do to avoid skinning your chip shots and getting a positive outcome and hitting the ball correctly. So hitting a skinny chip shot means that we're probably hitting upwards on the ball as opposed to what we should be doing, which is hitting downwards on the ball. The only way you can really hit upwards on the ball is two things that are probably likely to be happening is you may have yourself in a position where you're too low to begin with, your body's got no room, and you tend to then pull up out of the shot with your upper body from your waist upwards. That will cause the club to move up, skinny contact over the back of the green, poor outcome. You might have that in combination or even just on its own by having the ball too far left in your stance and your weight too far on your right foot. So let's say we do have a good technique and we do have good shape in our chip setup, but the ball's too far forward and our weight is on our back foot. Well, that's gonna result in the club either bottoming out here and chunking it. And if we do happen to then lift up a little, cause we might fear, well, this has to fly a little bit, doesn't it? So I'm gonna try and help it up in the air. Remember, it's not you or your body that helps the ball up in the air. It's the loft of the club. That's why clubs have loft. Skinny chip, skinny chip. Very hard to recognize that in yourself as a golfer when you're concentrating on actually hitting the golf ball. It's very easy for somebody else to say it. Oh, mate, you're lifting up. You're trying to help the ball. Very difficult when you're the one watching a golf ball. So how do we avoid blading your shots? Well, let's get the ball back into home base, which is behind the center, behind your sternum, behind the middle of your feet. So that represents the right foot for a right-handed golfer. Let's have a couple of practice swings of hitting down into that grass. Yep, we're hitting some grass, so we're bottoming out correctly. And we're gonna keep our weight forward. Really, really, really good little exercise for this in practice time is for you to set your body up, check that the ball's in that right position there, which is straight off your right foot. And here's a guaranteed cure for not skinning chips, is to then put your right foot back behind you up on its tippy toe and then go ahead and hit down and hit, hit that chip shot with confidence. There we go, we've got a great result. Because I can guarantee if you're standing in that position there, you must be left. We knew the ball was in the correct position. Positive outcome. Hope that helps you with your chipping confidence and I hope that stops you from blading your chips.